integrate cosine to the fourth power minus sine to the fourth power with respect to x. Let's go ahead and try to work it out. Solution. So the first thing uh, we might notice is that um, this factors in a clever way. You can write this as cosine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine squared x plus sine squared x. Right? It's the difference of squares, uh, but everything is to the fourth power. So you can think of it as a minus b times a plus b, and that's a squared minus b squared. So your a is cosine squared, and when you square that, it gives you cosine to the fourth, and your b is sine squared, and so when you square that, it gives you sine to the fourth. And this is good because this is equal to 1, right? It's one of the trig identities. So it goes away. So we end up with cosine squared x minus sine squared x, parentheses, dx. And now, again, we can use another trig identity. Recall that um, sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So I'm thinking it might be easier to solve for cosine squared. That way we don't have to worry about the negative. So cosine squared x, that's 1 minus sine squared x. That's a trig identity. So this is parentheses 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x, parentheses dx. All right, now we can just combine like terms. So this is equal to the integral of um, parentheses 1 minus 2 sine squared x dx. Lots of trigonometric fun. Um, 1 minus 2 sine squared x, that's a trig identity. Again, that's cosine 2x, right, dx. And this we can integrate. It's a piece of cake. Um, you can make a u substitution or you can do it in your head. I'll go ahead and show you the work. You would let u equal 2x. So du, that's going to be 2dx. And the goal is to make this look like what's in your integrand. So there's no 2 there, so we divide by 2. Divide by 2, so 1 half du is equal to dx. So this becomes 1 half du, right, replacing the dx. And we're left with cosine u. When we integrate cosine, we ask ourselves, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is 1 half sine of u plus c. So this is equal to 1 half sine of 2x plus c. And that is the final answer. So I went through that kind of quickly. Um, this is one of the problems from one of the MIT uh, integration B qualifying exams, kind of a, a fun little challenging problem. I hope that made sense.